Our next block is L7. L7 is put together in three separate rows, like a nine patch construction. The center blocks on the top and bottom row are designed with two rectangles, and then in the middle of the square is a square and a square assembly. So I have my block all set up like usual, and I have two directional fabrics. I have a directional background, so I went and put right hand facing arrows into each of my background sections and I put upward facing arrows on my focus fabric sections. So as usual, I'm going to baste this at one row at a time. So if I baste this bottom row, I'm gonna do the short sides first of the rectangles and then the long sides. And then I'm going to probably do the tops of these squares so that they're opposite of this, but it doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter which way I do it. For these, I'm gonna make sure that when I base these, I'm gonna base the legs of the triangle first and then I'm going to do the hypotenuse so that I can have the tags of these triangles facing outward so we don't have any issues when we come to assembly. So the first thing I'm gonna do is assemble one of these outside rows. These are basted, so I'm going to attach these two and then put the squares on the outside to make a complete row. So we've got the bottom row all assembled right here. So I will set that aside and then the central section, I'm gonna put these together in one square and this is the other square and then I will work on the center. So I've got the side squares units put together and now I'm going to baste the triangles to attach to the center square. Got my center square basted, and I've basted only one of these outer triangles because these are directional. I'm going to baste one at a time and then attach it because that way I can understand exactly where they go and not mix them up. So then the next one I'm going to do is the one across from it so that I can um, then attach these consistently between the two triangles. So now I've attached both of these corners to my center square and I will baste one of these triangles and attach one at a time, and then I will have a center unit completed. So I've completed my center, and I will be taking each of these units and attaching it to the side, and therefore I will then form my center row. So I've got my center row all completed, and with the bottom row done, I'm going to move on to the top and assemble the center section here before attaching the outer the outer squares. So I've got my top row completed, so therefore I will connect both the upper and the lower to the center and my block will be done. And now that I've assembled all three of my rows, I have a completed L7 block.